What's going on guys, Arcane here with another Drive All The Breakers video and in today's video I did not say Season 5 because uh, this is a video, uh, pretty much a final speculation video uh, for uh, what presumably is going to be the Raider for Season 6. Now I am very confident at this point we have evidence in the files, evidence in the data, uh, and we have hints that uh, the Breakers team has been showing on Twitter. So that being said, I kind of just want to go through them one last time because tonight is going to be the sixth anniversary uh, stream, which is really, really exciting. Uh, it's going to be at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm going to be live on YouTube for it. So it's literally going to be happening when I'm normally live or I'll be live like an hour or two before. So you'll know when it's happening because I'll be live. So that being said, uh, let's look at all the hints and speculate one last time uh, who the Raider could be and if the Raider is the Raider that I think it's going to be. Um, then let's also look at their moveset in Cedarverse 2. Alright, so the first hint that we got was on June 7th, and it was this teaser here. Essentially, it was just a uh, white six uh, turning red, uh, kind of, uh, you know, starting a theme of uh, corruption. So um, that is the first hint that we saw for the new Raider and the new season. Uh, most recently, this is this one, but we'll take a look at that in a sec. After that, uh, we got this, which I don't know if anybody posted it. Also, I think I talked about this one in a previous video. This one presumably is like a building with a moon, um, I imagine. And then here is the testimonies, kind of talking about uh, characters changing and acting different and uh, not being able to use abilities. Uh, you know, potentially talking about Baby and his ability to, uh, you know, take over people's uh, bodies and whatnot. So this actually is... Uh, I don't know if anybody posted it. Yes, this is what it's supposed to be. So this is the image that they have. And this is what it's uh, like a screen grab of. So if you guys don't know, uh, I'm not, you know, super knowledgeable about GT, but I know this scene. This is where uh, Vegeta was driving uh, with Bola and uh, some dude's trying to hit on her or whatever. So this could be potentially hitting not only a baby in GT, but also Bola being one of the uh, survivor skins that we could be getting this season as well, which would be very cool. Should be very, very cool. Uh, this next one that we got uh, is a hint. It is Peppercorn. So initially seeing this, I thought this was dog food and I feel kind of silly. <laughs> I hope the Breakers team doesn't hate me for that. Uh, this is Peppercorn. So what Peppercorn is essentially supposed to mean is that it makes you sneeze, right? And what character do we know from the Dragon Ball universe that sneezes a lot and like that impacts their character? That's Launch. So Launch has been uh, teased in the files pretty much since uh, this game's inception, since like it was like literally released. So uh, it's pretty safe to assume that Launch is going to be uh, one of the Survivor Sins uh, skins for this coming season. Alrighty, so keep it up moving. Uh... We have this hint as well. I'll be honest with you. This one, I don't really know what it means. Uh, so people are pointing towards Omega Shenron. So people are pointing towards the Qs. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know if uh, they have launch here as well. That makes sense. But they also have uh, um, Goku with the clock here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. But yeah, that one isn't as obvious to me personally. But here we have this classic one. So here, if I stop this, as you can see in the top left, there is a part of an art that we aren't really too uh, familiar with. At least I'm not. If we look around here, uh, you know, we have arts of Broly, Ginyu, um, yeah, Ginyu again, Frieza, and whatnot. But if we pause here, this art is something that's uh, completely new to the game. And I believe uh, it belongs to this character. So if we go ahead and look at uh, the armor here, uh, you can see that the uh, shoulder pads are very pointy, uh, very distinct. And if we take a look at this art here, uh, it could potentially be like an ear as well. Uh, it's possible. It's totally possible. But I'm really thinking that pointy part could be uh, Baby's armor as well. Again, his shoulder pads are very, very big uh, and pointy, very similar to uh, this art here. Uh, I don't really know what else this could be, because this is definitely new art. Uh, I'm pretty sure other guys have pointed this out as well, yes, that uh, this part could either be the Great Ape Ear, potentially, but more than likely, uh, it is going to be um, Baby's Armor. But regardless, it's Baby, right? It's Baby. So that further said, uh, without further ado, actually, 
Uh, it's pretty obvious that it's going to be Super Baby 2. I like, bro, if, 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 uh, if it is not Super Baby 2 tonight for this live stream, I will gift out like 50 members on my YouTube. I, I, I swear to God, maybe don't hold me to that. That's a lot of money, but um, I don't know. I'll do something, dude, because like I am like like 100% sure it is going to be Baby. But uh, with that being said, I want to show you guys uh, his moveset from Xenoverse 2 and kind of look at it and analyze it just to kind of get a better idea of what moves he could be bringing to uh, Dragon Ball The Breakers. A lot of the moves are carried over. All right, so here we have some uh, Xenoverse 2 gameplay. Now, a lot of these melees, I wouldn't really uh, pay too, too uh, close attention to. Actually, what I'll do here is I'll go on this side. Um, so... Here are some of the uh, super attacks that he has. Meteor Strike, uh, Meteor Crash, Android Kick, and Variant Dive are uh, some of the moves that he has. So that's kind of like a melee rush type skill. Um, Android Kick is an interesting one to me. Is that like, is this like a customizable kit for baby? I'm gonna double check just because, like, am I crazy? Consecutive Energy Blast, Gallic Gun. Okay, looks like Baby has a lot of moves um, that he can equip. Is this like a Xenoverse 2 like customization option thing? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I guess these are some of the moves that they can choose from. So we have Shine Shot as well. Mighty Explosive Wave, Milky Can. All right. Yeah, I have a feeling this might be like a Xenoverse customizable character situation so let me see if i could find like like am i crazy like why is baby why does baby have access to all these moves like i, I want to see baby's moves i don't want to see ill rain on baby like i don't is this how baby works hold on Alrighty, my fault y'all uh that was somebody using a customizable like partner move set so these are all the moves that super baby 2 actually has in xenoverse he has variant drive reverse shot Revenge, Final Flash, Maximum Charge. I mean, that's not really going to be a thing in Breakers. Full Power Energy Wave. Revenge, Death Ball, and uh, a Break Strike. So let's go ahead and check out some of these moves in action, shall we? Okay. So there's just uh, some basic combos here. But uh, what we're interested in looking at is going to be the Super Attacks. So I believe that was a reverse shot. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let's see, let's see that again. That's pretty good. Damn. So that's a reverse shot, I believe. So what's that? Is it? I, I think that's reverse shot. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. I apologize. That's uh the revenge final flash. I'm looking at the top. My bad, dude. Listen, bro. I'm, a, I'm bro. I'm a little bit of a boomer when it comes to universe 2. I, I like, I haven't really been playing it like that, or I haven't played it like that in ages. So that was a revenge. This is revenge final flash. That's what it looks like. So let's see. Uh, so here, looks like he's going to be using an ult. Let's see what we got here. Full power energy way, very familiar with this move. I mean, him having this ability, uh, obviously, you know, it's a sniping skill. It's not the most attractive skill in the game, of course. They give this to a lot of uh, raiders and uh, transfers. Hopefully, they give them something a little more unique, but it's possible that uh, he has that move. Okay. So that's um, the revenge final flash. Let's just grab. I don't think that's going to be. Uh... I think. Okay. So let's see if we get to see the uh, death ball now. That is going to work. So this is going to be revenge death ball. So this uh, has the possibility of being like an AOE super attack. Kind of similar to Frieza's death ball. Could be his area destruction as well. I think that's very possible. Um, I'll see if we can get a uh, shot of the other... Super attacks, but uh, Revenge Death Ball is very, very dope looking. Um, but yeah, that's Super Baby 2's move set, like his default move set, not the Xenoverse 2 like partner customization one. Okay, so let's um, yeah, all right, now he's using these other supers.
Okay, so that's reverse shot. Don't know if that's coming over to the game. Variant dive could. I could totally see variant dive being an active skill. Uh, kind of similar to like Raccoon's dive. I think that's possible. But uh, ver uh, what was the other one? Yeah, Revenge Final Flash 100% I think is coming to the game. 100%. There's no way it's not. Reverse Shot, I doubt it. Uh, doubt it. And uh, Variant Drive, I think is likely. And then, um, you know, Revenge Death Ball, I think is very possible. But um, that's kind of it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much his moveset. I know sometimes it's a little more in-depth. Uh, the reason why it's a little shorter this time around is because this is all that Baby kind of is in... Uh, for, you know, just GT in general from Xenoverse. There is no, like, baby Vegeta or anything like that. Or, like, a baby Goten. Or, like, a baby, like, Gohan. Like, it's literally just baby, um... Or just baby himself, Super Baby 2. There is no, like, baby Vegeta. So, again, just to remind y'all, the stream is going to be tonight at, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, basically, when I normally go live, uh, for streaming and whatnot... I'll be live a couple hours beforehand. But yeah, I know this is kind of a short and simple video. But uh, I kind of just want to like, you know, final predictions, final thoughts. Um, just kind of talking about, uh, you know, what the Raiders going to be like. Now, I'm not going to show the, the Discord data mines for like the 50th time. But we have like uh, Divine Water that was leaked. And we had like some sort of like possession, uh, like text, like in the files as well. So I think, you know, and, and, and it's green as well. Like the Blutz waves, I heard people say. So I feel like... It's, it's very, very possible uh, it is going to be baby. So, all uh, that being said, boys, that's going to be the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you think I'm completely wrong. Uh, if there is any final uh, Raider predictions that you guys have or Survivor Skin predictions that you guys have, let me know. I think uh, if it is going to be baby, I think Bola and at least Launch are locked down. I just don't know what that third Survivor Skin would be. So, if you guys have any uh, speculations about that, let me know, uh, and I will catch you guys uh, tonight and uh, for a lot of exciting content throughout this week. Uh, so stay tuned and sub to the channel for that. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. So here, safe, have fun. Peace out, dude. Peace out. Yeah, I wore a shirt today. I know you guys are going to comment about it. I wore a shirt. It's, it's a guy that wore a shirt. It's, kinda, it's not even mine. But anyways, I'll see y'all. Bye.